Hi, it's Therese and today I'm going to be creating a really simple watercolour scene and oh, <laughs> this is a little visitor and you'll see more of him at the end of the video. Um, I've been loving these leading lady sets from the Essentials by Alan collection and this uh, it's called Beach Lady and I thought it'd be really fun to do a really simple background like a watercolour background and I'm just simply doing a wash so I have some smooth watercolour cardstock and it's a fairly white one but I am going to ultimately sort of cover the whole piece of cardstock with some colour not a lot of colour but um, you know, I don't like it when my cardstocks don't match so uh, by covering the whole panel it means that my card front and the colour panel won't clash. Alright so the hardest thing for me is waiting for watercolour to dry and I really like the forgiveness of it as well so if you do actually um, find that the colours have melded like you haven't waited long enough which I sometimes do then what you can actually do is just um, dab away the colour with a paper towel or you can add a bit of water to it and that'll help lift it as well or you can let it dry and then add more layers as well it's very forgiving I simply just adding a skyline like a beach sort of scene here a skyline and then coming back in with some darker blue for the water and I did actually wait for this to dry in between I was pretty good this time <laughs> and then I was able to sort of add a couple of really subtle sort of layers of color um, to these to this background I just wanted sort of a uh, you know I didn't want it to be perfect I just wanted this kind of a washy look in the background I think this worked out really well okay so I've stamped my beach leading lady she comes with lots of accessories and some really cute sentiments as well and I've stamped her in some uh, jet black archival ink which is a waterproof ink and I have used the smooth watercolor cardstock again here I'm just mixing up my own colors on the lid of the palette I don't bother cleaning the lid of the palette in between because I can actually pick up that color again like reactivate it with some water so you're not really wasting your colors I wanted this dress to kind of look a bit washy and um, it wasn't really working because I wanted this to be stripes as well <laughs> so initially I was going to have sort of a gap in the stripes but I came back in and actually finished painting those in and then in the end decided to add some shading and add some water down the edges which really loosened off the color quite a bit but she was actually really easy to color and I think she's quite pretty I like a headband you know some people look really funky in headbands I don't but I think some people do and I wish I could pull it off <laughs> maybe one day okay I use the coordinating dies to cut that out and then my sentiment I kind of wanted to do a bespoke sort of sentiment so I did actually stamp it out just roughly on a piece of paper just to give me a rough idea of um, how much spacing I was going to need but I'm using the it's the Alta New tall alpha stamp set and I love that these letters are so easy to line up and especially on the misty I just use a piece of acetate here to protect my um, watercolor panel and then once I've lined up the letters I can pick them up have a little look on the lid to make sure that they're straight on the grid lines that are on the lid and then remove my <laughs> acetate before I add the ink and I'm just using some onyx black ink and the beauty of the misty is if I don't stamp it person perfectly I can re-stamp but I never had to I found actually because it's a smooth watercolor cardstock it stamped out really um, perfect the first time so I'm just going to attach this directly to the front of a top fold card I have cut the panel down um, just smaller than the front of the card 
and then I can pop my little lady up. I've been creating at my sister's house, um, still on my trip at the moment, and um, we were so lucky to be able to hang out with her and her family and her one of her cats in particular. <laughs> He's hilarious. His name's Ollie and he is one of those cats that's just in your face and wants attention totally. So I'll, um, I've got a little bit more footage of Ollie helping me and my sister helping me <laughs> create my card today. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Hi Ollie. <laughs> Bye.